Greetings everyone, and welcome back to another one of my astrology videos. This is Sean, and today I'd like to discuss a rather unorthodox matter, a period far into the distant future. I'm going to share my insights into the age of Capricorn, which will roughly last between the years 4000 to 6000 AD. In my opinion, it's never too early to discuss what may happen in eons ahead to be open-minded to new concepts and ideas. So, sit back and enjoy this presentation. As we all know, right now, we are entering the age of Aquarius, an era of universal brotherhood, massive technological advancement, rational scientific thought, and humanitarianism. This will be a time of freedom of thought, belief, and conscience of the individual within the collective whole of humanity. We're just coming out of the age of Pisces, when religious ideals spread with consequences. Over the next 2,000 years, we will expand our consciousness several fold, reach the far corners of outer space through colonization, and develop technologies that will sustain us for many more millennia. The age of Aquarius will be a time of great expansion, but sooner or later, all this will eventually slow down we will have metamorphosized to the point that we will need to hit the brakes to stabilize. The age of Capricorn, in my opinion, will be an age of conservatism, slower technological progress, and stability. It will be when mankind has reached the highest levels of consciousness, but in order to enjoy it, it must be put into practical use. The zodiac sign of Capricorn represents conservatism, ambition, success, achievement, wisdom, law and order, and discipline. While we are on the cusp between the ages of Aquarius and Capricorn, humanity will be at a crossroads. With so much adaptation, with trillions of us becoming cyborgs, being integrated between our natural bodies with super technology, we will need to utilize our godlike abilities on a practical level. As Aquarius is ruled by air, representing thought and communication, Capricorn is ruled by earth, representing money, stability, order, and solid structures. By the year 4000, in order for humanity to survive, we will need to construct space stations and Dyson spheres on a massive industrial scale. Now, what is a Dyson sphere? It's a mega structure encompassing a star harnessing its solar power for all the planets in a solar system. It was the brainchild of an astrophysicist by the name of Freeman Dyson, who in 1960 made the hypothetical proposal to build such a colossal mega project. The concept is very popular in science fiction, and if we're to survive as a collective species, it must become a reality. Right now, we have very limited resources and uh, technology to colonize space. The strategy for scientists will be to think outside the box to find new ways to advance civilization. By the time the age of Capricorn starts, humanity will have advanced so much on the Kardashev scale. We will have grown so much to the, to the point that we've reached a type 3 civilization, or probably even higher than that. Dyson Spheres will be commonplace throughout this galaxy and numerous. We will most likely be able to travel beyond the speed of light, making interplanetary travel quick and easy. As Capricorn is a sign of commerce, our economy will expand and thrive throughout the Milky Way. The age of Capricorn will mark a milestone of human technological and evolutionary achievement. When we reach the age of Sagittarius, lasting roughly from 6,000 to 8,000 AD, we will be ready for a new kind of expansion, one that will take us beyond what we've never known before. To better understand Capricorn energy, we need to know a bit about its esoteric symbolism. Capricorn is associated with the goat, but originally it was depicted as a half crocodile and half unicorn. The lower portion of the body the crocodile represents the selfish, primitive nature of man with our materialistic greed. 
The upper body, which symbolizes the unicorn, on the other hand, depicted our third eye vision and enlightenment. The age of Capricorn may present a potential conflict between our animal desires and godlike consciousness. Our bodies will become so immersed with machines that we, that we may have the nostalgia of living life more simply and naturally. So, these have been my own insights into the far distant future that will eventually become the age of Capricorn. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, a comment, and if you're new to my channel, why not subscribe? I have many other astrology videos for those who love to study the stars. So I'll close by saying peace, much love, and namaste. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Be safe and kind to one another. And I'll see you in the next video. Godspeed.